Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of Pink Fresh Studios September ink release and these inks are beautiful. I just took them out of the packaging and I printed myself up a simple little ink chart and I was going to swatch them out on camera for you. I mean, why not? So let's just start talking about the inks. If you're familiar with Pink Fresh Studio inks, they stamp like butter. This first light one is Sunkissed. Then we have Mimosa and you're getting darker into Mango Sorbet. And then lastly, Fruit Punch. Can you see how beautiful they stamp, how pigmented they are? Now here we are with Cherry Blossom and then we have Peony. And then next is Begonia. And last is Mulberry Blush. Okay, so you can see all the families come in like groupings of four. You get four shades in each color family. Here we have the purples, Sheer Freesia, Wisteria, Hydrangea, and the last one, Opulence. So dark, so plummy. I love these colors. I think they're great for a September release because they kind of lend themselves to fall vibes, um, especially those darker shades. I usually... When I'm blending, I usually blend with the light shades, but I'll always pull out the darker shades for a little gradient love, just to pump up that vibrancy. I personally love to swatch out my inks like this all on one sheet so I can really see them all and how they work together. I know a lot of people swatch out different ways. Jennifer McGuire has a fabulous swatching system, the little squares, and you can mix and match depending on brands so you can really see the colors that you own. I like to do it this way because I primarily work with one brand at a time. So I wanna see all the Pink Fresh Studio inks at a glance together like so. Look how beautiful they are. Great for fall. I love all the different tones you get in each color family. First thing I was itching to do was do a little ink blending. So that's what I'm gonna do in my first project. I have the Waffle Flower Grip Mat 5.5 by 8.5 inch panel of Hammer Mill cardstock. For the stencil set, I'm using the Geo Blocks. It's not a new one, but it's one of my favorites. And it's a layering stencil geometric. There's three stencils. In the set, doesn't matter which order you go, and it makes this beautiful geometric pattern. Okay, I'm gonna start in with, if I had to pick my favorite color of the whole release, if I was backed into a corner, I'd say Limoncello. I always go towards the limey, citrusy green. Uh, this is, have you ever had Limoncello, by the way? I've never had it, but I sure do love the color. And I also wanna mention, I just pulled out my Waffle Flower blending brush that I had handy. I. It kind of pained me because I knew that I was going to get down into these darker shades. So I did Lemoncello and then in the middle of the stencil, I'm, I'm doing Bay Leaf, which is kind of one of the mid-tones of that color grouping. And then down along the bottom, I'm going to pull out the darkest shade, which is Spanish Moss. Again, I'm using my same green blender brush for all three shades. And I have a piece of scrap paper off to the right there. You can't really see, but I'm always kind of like brushing off on that and i really now i'm going to get this blender brush all all uh what do you call it chartreuse -y. but i just i just wanted to show you if you don't have a ton of blender brushes you can use one blender brush to get the job done okay now um here we have the blue kind of aqua shades this is waterfall and i gotta tell you this waterfall shade is popping it's very cheery, and I'm here for that. Then the mid-tone is, what is this? Paradise. Okay, if I forget to mention any of the names, I'll have everything linked in my description box if you're watching this on YouTube. And then down for the bottom, the darkest tone is Atlantis. Very deep, very dark, very teal, very gorgeous. Okay, again, use the same blender brushes for all three tones. Really trying to make this bottom kind of intense and popping and you get that gradient feel with this second stencil of the geo blocks okay peeling that off i love how the stencil sticks to the grip mat you don't have to use a ton of you know post-it tape and whatnot okay i couldn't decide on the color family i wanted to use there's so many beautiful colors in the release i decided to go with the oranges so we're starting with sunkissed and again going light on the top mid-tone in the middle and then popping it dark on the bottom. So we have mango sorbet. That sounds delicious. I'm usually a chocoholic always, but I mean, the thought of mango sorbet, I could give her a shot. Okay, then down on the bottom, fruit punch. Bada boom. Gonna light this up on the bottom like fire. 
and I'm hoping that these colors work together. Now, the, these cards are going to end up being very, very non-traditional holiday cards because I was just going with the flow. And how is everybody doing now that we're kicking it into fall? Here in the Midwest, fall is my absolute favorite season of the year. Look at these colors. Holy Smoky Joes. This is gorgeous. It's not, it's not screaming holiday, but we're going to make it work. Okay, for card number two, working on the background, I have this uh, Holiday City View cling. And I'm going to emboss it in white on a panel of hammer mill cardstock. So I'm mounting this on my full-size Misty. I have one of those My Sweet Petunia sticky mats down on the bottom that holds my panel in place. First, I'm rubbing it down with the powder tool. So I'm a stamp powder tool. Anytime I emboss, you got to do that. Versamark ink for the ink. I'm going to ink up this large cling. You know, I haven't used this yet, but I've hung on to it for quite a while. I love anything with architecture. Pouring on some Simon's Stamp Clear embossing powder, and then I'm going to heat this whole thing up with my heat gun once I get good coverage with all that clear embossing powder. So back to fall talk while we're embossing. Do you love fall as much as I love fall? I mean, all around the neighborhood, everybody's got their mums, their pumpkins, and all the decor going on. I really want to do it. I uh, haven't done anything as far as decorating, but I, we are enjoying the weather. Now this, um, what's it called? Holiday City View has a coordinating stencil set. There are actually five or six stencils in the layering stencil set. And what it allows you to do is add color to each of the buildings individually. So you can make all the buildings different colors. It's really, really fun. Uh, okay, so this is where I'm gonna really show off these beautiful new colors. This first color I'm using is Waterfall. I'm giving all the buildings just a flat wash of this base tone. And then I'm gonna take a darker shade in that same color family, give it a little bit once over along the bottom. So that kind of gives it that gradient vibe. So you want a little bit darkness on the bottom and then fade it up into the, that light shade. For each one, I'm gonna do the same. So it really shows how you can use the light and the medium and the dark tones with these new ink colors. Okay, laying on the next stencil, going in with Lemon Cello. Okay, speaking of fall, you know who loves fall the most of all? <laughs> Hank the Tank. Hank is loving fall the most of all. And we walk him every day. And we have this kind of like two-mile loop around our neighborhood. And I'll tell you what, my husband Mark got him a new leash. It's really, really nice. It's one of those retractable leashes that can go really, really long. But you can also lock it tight. So you can make it whatever length you want. Or just leave it loose so it gives the dog you know, just a little bit of freedom to walk loose, but you can also tighten it if you want to. So we've been loving this new leash and we were walking. It was just yesterday, actually. Uh, my daughter Bailey and I were walking around the neighborhood and you do have to be aware because Hank is strong now. He's still only two, but the dog is strong. And if he gets a, if he catches a view of a rabbit or a squirrel or a cat, you have to be ready at all times. You got to be ready for the tug. You got to like, you got to have your knees ready, be in a good posture. And so Bailey and I are blabbing along. We're always blabbing along when we're walking. And I said, Bailey, there's a black cat. Just be ready. And she looked at me to say something and he pulled like he went to charge after the cat yanked the leash right out of her arm i thought she was gonna like dislocate her shoulder he took off running after this black cat all the way into the people's backyard down into the woods and i i you know what that's like walking into a stranger's backyard you're like i feel so awkward there's no sign of Hank. I'm yelling his name. He's got the new leash <laughs> the, and it, it's just like long, just dragging it. And I walk, we walk back out into the sidewalk. I'm like, well, I guess we're just going to wait here. I'm not sure. And we're calling him and he's pretty good. And within about a minute, here he comes trotting back, just happy as can be, just wanted to chase the black cat and the, the brand new leash just dragging behind. It was all wet from going through the grass and whatnot. And so that's my fun story about walking Hank in the fall. That's, and I told Bailey, I said, is your shoulder okay? She was fine, but she was a little bit upset. We were a little bit mad at Hank, if I'm being honest. He was not a very good boy, but having said that, you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready. But look at this uh, background, by the way, while I was blabbing, it's beautiful. Now for sentiments, I'm just gonna foil it up. First up is the Joy 
hot foil plate. And by the way, I'm using some citrine hot, uh, foil by Spellbinders. The citrine is a delicious color and it kind of kind of ties in with that lemoncello and um, what's it called? Spanish moss, those that color family. And then I did Noel while I had everything nice and hot, taking the coordinating dies for the Noel and the Joy to cut them out. And I'm gonna pop them up on these ink blended backgrounds. So like I said before, I did trim down the panels quite a bit, popping them up on a white card base. These are very, very, very non-traditional holiday cards, but sometimes it's a little bit refreshing to do something a little non-traditional. But you could customize these. I probably should have added maybe in a little more of the cherry or the rose with the green, and you could make it slightly more Christmassy feel with the red and green. But uh, you got the citrine going on there with the lemon cello, and it's really showing off these beautiful new ink colors with Pink Fresh Studio. Make sure and check out the rest of the release hop with Pink Fresh. There's some fabulous giveaways. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.